Hi, Soccer Hulks. Today, this is Chris <laughs> and Ben, and we are talking much quieter because the storm has ended. The riot of TFC destroying New York FC has ended, and I am here today with Ben, um, a person that observed this and was amazed by the riot, the storm that is <laughs> TFC. Uh, yeah. Do you care to explain? Yeah. What you like, witnessed? Are you trying to do a British accent? It's really, no. really poor. Uh, Thank you, my friend. Yeah. No. I mean, you know. Uh, we're here at the football factory, you know, we're here last week, uh, Sunday, it was, you know, it was great, you know, this was packed, everyone was here, you know, me and Renee, mm -hmm. talked to the fans, you know, just to kind of get the, I was trying to see what the feeling of, of if they loved watching soccer in this city, mm -hmm. and I, I got, I got the, I got the great vibe, people knew what they were talking about, they knew the players well, I don't know the players well, because, like, as I said, last week was my first time watching tfc it's okay right? it, it will come because it's time. hard for me being british it's hard to stand by and, and trying to appreciate the level let's be honest it's just not there as we know you got the you other got, leagues you, you, right? you have to go support i know oh, but i'm gonna be a supporter because i'm a torontonian i live in the city but you um, have to go support such yeah of course well, well, it doesn't matter it's, a, it's not going to change the the level of football and hence they won five nil right and i was really surprised right they had because the as we know pirlo um Pilo, Villa, and Lampard, three players, well known. Just named well known. Three, three yeah. out of eleven players. Three, three players that are well known in in uh, in New York more than the other eight for the starting lineup. Yes, right? that's my point. Uh, they didn't show up, and I was just so surprised how Toronto just like rolled them over five nil. Chavinko, just a great player, and he, he he's so small. I can't remember how small he is. I can look on the screen. He's really small. Yeah, and and the he's way similar to Santi Cazorla. Yeah, yeah, he's trickery. He's great, and I think he's a great player for TFC. And you know, it was great. And moving forward, looking forward, what the first leg, twenty second of uh, November, away at Montreal. Right? I'll be going to that, guys. Are you going? Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I found oh. tickets. Oh, I found no tickets. Cool, uh, man. I, I, see this is why I tell you yeah. to go talk to the supporters get, section. Get a picture with Didier. Um, Did he Jogba? I can't do that. That, no, no. that would uh, break right. my Arsenal contract. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, but be uh, you know, it's going to be great. You know, that leg. Hopefully, we come away with the win, and then uh, the other semi-finals: um, Seattle and Colorado. Now, and, I, have um, to, I have to explain this to all you beloved TFC fans at home, and to all you regular soccer fans at home. So, if I do recall correctly, if Seattle does beat Colorado, that means on December 10th, that is a Saturday in Toronto. We will actually officially live up to the We the North hashtag by playing soccer in actual snow, possibly at BMO Field. Yeah, because we looked it up. Where is the final being played? Is it not? Is the it... final. So what ends up happening is, if I recall correctly, whoever wins, I think the division or whoever finishes the highest seed, I believe. I, I'm definitely yeah, yeah. wrong okay. on this, I believe. But I think it switches between East and West or whoever the highest seeded team. I find is. that fascinating because it's not like Champions League final or World Cup final where you can actually, as a fan, book tickets and go and, and, and plan that ahead because mm -hmm. the venue is already booked. I'm really surprised that it's played. It's not like played at Wembley because it's a cup. It's more right? it's more personal in the sense because the fan bases, depending on where you are in the United States or in our Canada, like it... Can't they make it, it a neutral it, venue? It, 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 it fluctuates. Yeah, yeah. But the main point of the matter is the highest seeded team between the two teams that are playing in the finals, they get home field advantage. Right. So in this case, if Colorado were, for instance, to beat Seattle, then I'm going to have to go to Colorado, which means I have to go renew my passport. <laughs> However, That's hardcore. That, hardcore. It sucks, yeah, but yeah. Like, you know what? It's a great experience. It's been 10 years for the organization. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been the most diets of heart fans. I also followed the Red Bulls because a beloved Thierry Henry came here. I got him to sign some of my scarves for Arsenal and stuff. I also, funny story about that. I actually met him on the day that we won the FA Cup, and I asked Thierry Henry, hey, did you see the score earlier this morning? And he gave me a little cheeky wink. So for all you Arsenal fans out there, trust me, Thierry Henry still follows the club. I'm jealous. Wherever he is. Uh, well, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one thing, though. If uh, TFC do make the final, we're going to be covering it, aren't yes. we, for sure. Uh, either here at the Football Factory, the, uh, the supporters bar, pub mm -hmm. of, the, uh, of the club, or, or we're going to be on my field. I haven't been there yet. Like, been I mean, there. I live close by, and I still haven't been there. So like what? Is Why that? would I go there? It's a football stadium. Yes, but like like we've said, you know, I have this level of tolerance. It's just I, not there I, yet. I, I want to believe that. I got hey, I got into the game. I came here. I watched the match. I, I put myself through ninety minutes, which I thought was going to be really boring. 
but I was here for work and I got into the game and I, really, I loved it. I really I loved, loved it. I really loved your reaction during the fifth goal. You were like, oh my gosh, I've never seen five goals scored in North American soccer before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've it's never okay. seen Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nonetheless, Surprising. what I wanted to say was, Ben, the main reason why you probably don't go to BMO Field is probably because it's too noisy for you when you're no, trying to sleep. No, I just, it's just not... As I say, it's just not. It, it, it's it, not of interest. It takes, I'm sorry. It takes time. I for, for, it me, for me, it's yeah. like a decade to yeah. like kind of like and plus bandwagon playoffs. Correct. But Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Hopefully, they make it to the final. I'm really praying for you, uh, fans of TFC out there. And we'll see what happens. All right. Any predictions then in this video? Seeing as uh, you want to call it. Want to call it? Um, I, I think it's. Gonna, I think the Montreal TFC will be a much tighter game. Okay. Uh, so maybe. I don't know, over the two legs. Over the two legs, TFC may just edge it with one goal. Okay, I'm going to say TFC advances on goal difference. And I want to say that these two games are going to help not only deepen fans such as Ben into falling in love with the MLS, but also the fans that have gone through so much over the past 10 years, you know, just to fall in love with the game again. And to be honest, like, as much as I love Arsenal, and as much as you love Arsenal, Arsenal is not next door, like five minutes down the road. TFC is though. So yeah, for yeah. those fans that do get the chance to go watch their team play, yeah. you know what? Yeah. It's an honor, and I wish you guys all the best and enjoy the experience. Definitely. Thanks for watching, guys. Socolics TV.